some of the decisions made by infrastructure this year have given us clues to where the department's priorities lie. Uh, some of that being in the changes at Glen Cutry Road and Governor's Dip, which of course I have to ask you about, Minister. Um, drivers will be getting more used to those changes now. Am I right in thinking that one of the real reasons for those changes was to try and create more room for buses on the roads? That was that was part of it. I mean, just to step back one 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 pace, Dolan. I mean, the reason we put those temporary changes to Glen Crutchery uh, and particularly St Ninian's Junction and, and, and Governor's Dip was around mitigation, miti- mitigating the effects of the traffic that was displaced from the prom going going one way. If we'd done if we'd done nothing, um, traffic congestion inevitably would have been uh, significantly. Re- worse on the other routes around Douglas so it's a, it's a perfect storm for you minister isn't it really I, I, you could you could describe it as that but from my point of view we've got a job to do which is to get the prom finished um, we took advantage of the uh, situation sadly that we had you know almost no or certainly very limited tourist season this year to give the contractor the opportunity to press on with the prom scheme um, as part of that we we eliminated the constraint that they must maintain two-way traffic and, and put the uh, put the problem one way so that displaced the, uh, the a significant amount of traffic from from the problem which is of course is one of them it plays many parts in in our island but one of the parts that it plays is it's a it's a major uh, road um so that traffic had to go somewhere we made changes to st ninians and to uh, governor's dip but it was they were changes in favor of bus and cycle use to the detriment of private motorists uh well c- certainly the the, the st ninian's um junction the, the left filter lane uh did clearly prioritize buses and uh cycling um i don't think you could make the same case around the, the governor's dip um but uh, but also it was a slightly more sophisticated picture uh we knew there was going to be congestion around douglas we'd rather have the congestion uh, somewhere like st ninian's than we would uh, as you go down Woodburn Road, for example, or to, on, onto the terrace, uh, where it's less easy to manage and was more likely to lead to traffic going into residential streets. Um, clearly, people reacted um, to uh, both the speed of, of the change and you know, the department always needs to improve its communication. Um, and, and it came as a bit of a shock because people are used to travelling the routes day by day um, in a very familiar way, and, and actually they, they were quite significant changes but have, have, there, have there been changes to the uptake on buses as a result so the it's a very difficult question to answer because um the use of buses dropped right down through the covid period partly because people weren't traveling but more fundamentally because it's a public form of transport and people uh, felt uncomfortable with um being in a public public space and you know we saw that particularly in the uk where um it was seen as public transport being a, a big risk area um, the level of recovery on public transport has been significant, but it's still below the levels we would normally expect. Part of that, of course, is the fact that people are working from home. Um, so it's a very difficult uh, question, question to answer. We did, we did, of course, put in some um, promotional activity around uh, the Onken, Baldrine and Laxey route um, to, to try and encourage the take up of, uh, of uh, bus rather than, rather than driving. Has it worked? Uh, it's had an impact. It's, it, we're, we're still part way through, and there's going to be a full uh, assessment at the end of it. But we've got no plans to um, expand the expand the scope of that at, at, at this point, given that we've only got three three weeks of it left until uh, um, and, and, until the uh, arrangement, the temporary arrangements uh, uh, are uh, are ended. Um, but you know, it's important that we that we try different things. It was a, a low risk situation and um yeah i certainly don't think it had failed um but uh from from my point of view public transport is is a very important part of the solution and particularly we haven't mentioned climate change yet in the conversation but you know if we're serious about addressing climate change which i believe we are I believe that the public wants it and certainly the move to tim world is very much uh to to address it we have to we have to address our major carbon emissions and that the, the, those are twofold one is our transport system the other is our um, buildings and um, if we if we're not prepared to, to change things then we're not going to get any different outcomes mr shimmins um do you agree with mr baker's comments about public transport and the uptake 
I, I think it's clear to me you know, that we need to get the prom done as soon as possible. It, you know, a lot of the businesses on the prom are on their knees, and uh, we must get that done quickly. In, in terms of uh, the Glen Crutchery Road lane, so I'm a great believer of going to see things. So I went up to have a look at that, and I, I wouldn't actually recommend. It's primarily, it's a bus lane. I wouldn't recommend that cyclists go there. Actually, I think it's quite quite dangerous. Uh, well, I, I, sp- I spoke to a cyclist uh, just by the grandstand who had gone through it. Uh, in car and in uh, or on on a bike, and said he wouldn't be doing so again. No, it's quite intimidating. I think, uh, and there's, there's also a bit of aggression, unfortunately, there because it's quite a lot of bad feeling. Uh, I think any cyclist would be well advised to go through Nobles Park, which is the preferred route. So it's primarily a bus lane. My my only observation, and clearly, I'm not a traffic uh, designer, um, but my, from when I went up to have a look at this scenario, there were a lot of buses and other vehicles which were trapped in the the right hand lane before you could get into the left hand side and and i think if we could extend the left hand lane i think that might help would be my personal view and also, which which, which uh, has been done Mr. It, has, Baker, yeah. it has been done a bit at yeah least. There's, a, there's a number of things that have been done and we you know we we put this in and then we reflected uh, on, on on what we found and what we learned so um many of the comments particularly in the early state uh, in the early days were very uh hostile to it um but you know we put the advanced uh, stop line for, for cyclists in there we did extend the uh the left the left turn lane to uh to increase the, the capacity of that and to get away from the issue or to reduce the issue that that, that bill's referred to there um so would, would you would you see it re- well, extended further maybe I, mr Simmons? i think it would be helpful to give that a go i mean i was actually up there last weekend my wife and i were, were stuck in the the queue looking to, to to go down there and we could see uh, other vehicles including buses so i think it'd be good to pull it back and also i'm, I'm slightly unsure why uh, taxis can't use the bus lane because bus lanes elsewhere taxis can use them so i think that's caused quite a lot of ill feeling Minister? amongst the taxi drivers yeah i mean it's, you know these these are these are not new points there's a what, couple, there's a couple was, of it, was that considered we've we've considered all sorts in in light of in light of feedback i mean there's, there's with with taxis there's a difficult uh, enforcement situation how 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 do you control that many many taxis look quite similar to uh, to, to to private cars um the uh the the, the other thing is um the, these are temporary arrangements so you know we, we a lot of people i think are, are, are reacting as if this is a permanent change it's not it's a stopgap isn't it it, it really? is absolutely you know the the prom is 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 one way um at the moment that's linked to the closure of uh, of broadway and and and, and summer hill um those are going to be opening up and uh, when they do we'll be we'll be changing those arrangements so i think of course, there are lessons from from, from from all of this, and it's important that as we, that it's important that we're prepared to try things because if you don't try things, you never know. Um, people will always, whatever you do, people will always say you shouldn't have done it, and it should go back to how it was before. Almost, almost irrespective of what it is that you're doing, that's the that's the first reaction. Equally, people get get used to things as well. Um, we're on a journey here. We have to be able to try things. If if they don't work, we have to. Uh, reflect on how can we change those but I w- the point I would make and again it's been a little bit lost in the conversation is that the key issue is the volume of traffic using those roads if they're not queuing at S- the St Ninian's Junction they're going to be queuing further down uh, in, in, into Douglas and all of that was, was, was considered and looked at and um, as as we've seen recently the St Ninian's hasn't been uh, hasn't tended to be such a such a, a, a pinch point, but actually around Woodburn Road and and, and, and on the terrace has, has been significantly worse. So people have changed their driving habits accordingly, haven't they? They've had to go around or take different routes or or go yeah. ways they wouldn't normally because yeah. they end up quicker. Well, ab- ab- absolutely, that's normal human behaviour. People people adapt, and you know that's that's a, that's a that's a good thing uh, that that people do adapt. It's not necessarily a good thing for 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 a number of people living in Douglas who, who are complaining now that their streets have become rat runs. So th- these residential estates are now seeing high volumes of traffic as people try and get round. The, the, there is an issue with the volume of traffic that's coming in, but there's also a safety issue. So in these residential streets, um, it's I, I know that some of my colleagues who are MHKs in Douglas are getting really high levels of complaints from people about suddenly their residential area has become a rat run and and that that's difficult because that's that's you know people live there with their children and there's elderly people who are struggling to cross the road so very, it, very quickly minister was that avoidable 
Well, part of the point I made earlier was about having the having the congestions around uh, out of town, so more around uh, the St Ninian's Junction. That actually uh, reduces the the, the uh, temptation to, to behave in that way. But what I would say is this is all about people making choices as to how they're going to travel. Nobody's forcing them to, to, to cut through residential areas. Um, nobody's forcing people to, to, to be confrontational with, with, with cyclists, for instance. It's, it's about how we, as a community, conduct ourselves. And um, what I would ask and, and encourage people to, to be very considerate about those who are impacted by their decisions. So the people that Bill, Bill mentions there, the, the residents, uh, mm. people using other forms of transport, you know, generally we're a pretty tolerant island um yes people might have you know some some, some uh inconvenience that was always going to be the case you can't shut something like the prom without it inconveniencing people there's always an impact and whatever we'd done we we would have had that the only way we wouldn't have had it would be if we weren't doing the prom well you know we've had 10 years of of, of not doing the prom and every talk about it and what a dreadful condition it was it, it was in how much it needed doing and you know we've we've grabbed the bull by the horns minister harmer took it on i'm finishing it you've got to be focused you can't have you can't have the end product without the pain of going of of going through it